Hello everyone. Good morning, my dear students. This is Professor Vinod Hilse, and today we will discuss the phases of FEM, or you can say steps in FEM. So, first step is pre-processing. Second step, solver, and third one is post-processing. Once again, good morning, student. These three phases are used in every software. So, first one is pre-processing. Second one is the solver and third one is post processing. Now, first pre processing, when we find out the solution of any entity, so for that one we have to do some process. So, first of all, we have to prepare the model. Second, we have to discretize the body, means we have to divide the body into the number of finite parts, and that you can see in this slide that is meshing so here the body is divided into the number of finite parts so kindly take a note that fm works for the discretization method only so if you do not discretize the body the fm will not be implemented so it is a very vast area that we will see in the next video lecture so meshing is very important now, what is required in pre-processing? So, first one, prepare a 3D part that is called modeling. You can see in the next slide. So, we create the 3D part that is called modeling. Second, nothing but the discretization means divide the body into the number of finite parts. Third one is material property like modulus of elasticity, Poisson's ratio. We have to assign if we are going for the static analysis if we are going for the dynamic analysis then one more parameter are required like density so thereafter we have to apply the boundary condition so boundary condition means that body will get fixed at one end or at some point and if the load and torque is applied at the another point or another end now second phase is Solution means with the help of derivation, matrices, mathematical equations, will get the solution like displacement, traces, and that calculation has been carried out in the solution phase that is phase 2. And all that calculation carried out at the back end of the software in phase 2. Third phase is post processing nothing but interpretation of result so in which form you require the result that means contour plot shown in colored shape you can see in this step 6 so color portion indicates that where maximum stress and that blue color indicates minimum stress induced in the body or you can say minimum deformation or maximum deformation induced in the body so students for better understanding i give one example to clear the topic that is three phases of fem so for example cuboid is prepared with some dimensions as a part model in fea second you have to provide the material properties inverse density poisson's ratio and Young's modulus third step is to meshing. Meshing is divide the body into the number of parts and joined with the help of nodes. The important thing is that how many number of nodes and elements are there that affect the result. Means the result get vary in APA depends on the number of nodes and element. Step fourth that is applying the boundary condition means where the body is getting fixed or displacement when the load is applied. So, fifth step is solution. So, with the help of mathematical equation, solution will get carried out. So, in software, solution is carried out in the back end. Last step is post processing. So, such type of result is obtained by the software. Here, color zone is nothing but the 
contour plot at the bottom there is shown in this image so color line it indicates the range of value of stresses so blue color to red color so blue color zone indicates the minimum stress induced in the body and red color zone indicates the maximum stress induced in the body